So we don't finish shows, huh? Well, how about Rock of Love season one reunion? Boring maybe, but we're watching it. The reunion is a chance to go back to season one where everyone was a heavy hitter. Yes. Everyone. Yeah. Let's watch. Hey. Oh no. This is the rock. Hey, you needed more work. He's special. Is this where he started? Yeah, this was before Daisy? Right. So they said, Ricky did such a good job, let's put him on Daisy of Love. <laughs> Who can counterbalance Brett Michaels? The legendary rocker Brett Michaels opened his Hollywood bachelor pad and his home. That's not his house. <laughs> no. Before it was over, punches had been thrown, alliances. Yeah, Rodeo took that girl down, Heather got a tattoo, that girl was her, unlikable, she won. Her dad was the worst. Oh. We, we live it all. Lacey, the schemer, will face the woman she tried so hard to knock out. And our winner and Brett will be reunited for the first time. Remember when he resembled or, or represented heavy metal? I do. You're not playing that for real. Tamra. <laughs> Lauren. Who? Tawny. What? Jeff oh my. Whoa. I remember. Oh, she was like first day cut, right? Heather looked great. Rodeo. Rodeo's a star. Oh, there she is, Tiffany. Mia. Tiffany's here. Krista. Don't remember. Faith. Faith. Samantha. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Aaron. So her hair is different. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes Tiffany. Yes. And Brandy M. Vomit. And the man who held it all together for Brett, Big John. Hey, everybody. From the man who made it all happen, a true legend of rock and roll well, with 15 chart busting top 40 singles I don't know. and an amazing 25 million records sold. All Lin in poison. All by himself. Up <laughs> the one and only Brett Michaels. They didn't bring up the Brett Michaels band. Weird. Probably had it contractually that they had to mention it and then they just cut it. Right. They're like, Ricky, give a pause. <laughs> For one thing, I mean, oh, he doesn't look that good. He's in, you know, was yes. huge in selling millions of records. He looks worse in this lighting than he does on season two. He does. He's rated shows. He's 50. And I think that Brett and Michael. And those girls are 20. Bigger star than you ever were. Well, first of all, I say this. Let me let me cut to the chase on that. Side rat tail. I think that the girls, and I say this, uh, and it's awesome to see all of them right now. I think they're what made the show huge. It's I, I was lucky. <laughs> well, the scumbaggery, and is really also big. No, part. just not being able to believe that they were there for you. Career and a chance to be in a house with, you know, 20 some beautiful women. That's a good day. That's not a bad That's day. A, the reality of that is terrible. Powerful as your. Who's the audience for this? It's fucking weirdo. I was just thinking watch? that. I know. In the house. It's us it's and them. Us. Yeah. Right. Story of two young girls who entered the house. Except I'm smirking like uh, Corey Feldman I know. when he's trying to be serious. <laughs> I think that you and I would be the best right. friends. We don't need to see. Well, this is the show. Not all of it. We finish shows, but we don't watch everything. She's a star. Clearly she can keep going on certain yeah. shows. On I Love Money. Not to do with loving or attempting to date Brett Michael. Baby. I believe they dated after the show. Who? Him at uh, Rodeo and him. No. I, I think they went on a date. Oh, sure, whatever. That way. You had to put your family first. That I never gave up on you, Brett. I never, I couldn't. She has to look higher because the brim of the hat goes so low. Yeah. It's very difficult for me to walk away from you because I felt. Walk away from you? He ditched you. You know, Brett, it was really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty close, right? Must hide face. Uh, if only it was up here. I want you to give me a second chance if you're able to. She's asking oh, him out right now. She's trying to get on. Because I didn't like you and, and want to be with you. I knew you were struggling with your kids. And I was there in the room when you made the phone call. For you to feel the way you were feeling, I just think it was, it, it was a time for you to go home and spend time with your boy. But I still really like you a lot. And you yeah, GTFO, you heard him. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! I'm going to paraphrase all that for the audience. Hey, Rodeo, I still want to smash. I want to give you a hug later, though. All I heard was him say, cool hat. Wow, she still looks crazy. Yeah. She's still crazy thinking right now. Oh, yeah. She's a star. Rodeo, are there any things that you've got planned in the future? 
Yes, um, I, I've been coming out with some oh. products for people. So that was just on the stage? <laughs> and they let her plug it? Yes. She's covering the label. She doesn't know how to hold it. Still end up plugging something! <laughs> oh my god! You hold it like this. This is touching. I love you, Brett. Would you like my barbecue sauce? <laughs> wow! Didn't expect that plug no. there. One of our other ladies left with an even bigger bang. Check this. What, what, what? Brett, Samantha Woo. was one of the women yeah. that I... Oh, her hair is real different. So, really had feelings about, and I remember talking to you... So is his? People are telling me, you tell... No. Sideradtail.com. I, I'm telling you, I had feelings for it, too, obviously. That is... What chain? You know what Let's I mean? Just talk chain, chain. Bring her up Please, here. right now. Sam, come on up here. That looks heavy. Who are these weirdos? Look, they're clapping. It's us. It's all of us. <laughs> it's this community that we've built. Yes. I didn't realize you were so tall. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which added to the uh, turn me on factor. <laughs> Sam, on the last episode when you left, it seemed like at that point you were happier than you had been the whole time on the show. I mean, part of me, yeah, I wanted to stay, you know, because I was developing feelings for Brett, but I think I was expecting something different. And I don't know if because I'm old-fashioned, I was expecting a mental connection. I didn't even think in, of a physical anything. That's <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. Can we eject her again? So you didn't want to blow me? You'd be sleeping with Lacey. I didn't think you'd be having it. Or, I didn't Whoa. think you'd be a threesome with the girls. Whoa. You know what I, mean? I had no well, idea. Keep on going, keep on going. What else didn't you think? <laughs> So as the situations happen, I was like, whoa, this is so not the place for me because I'm so Yeah, like, that's right. I would not. And Brett Michaels lives that life, and it's fine for him. I don't think, I mean, would any... And whoever else participate. And... <laughs> you didn't even trust me in the house. <laughs> Samantha, that night you left, you looked beautiful, and that kiss was a great sort of fuck you goodbye kiss, which you gave me, but in, in, in some s sick way... Uh, I won't say it turned me off. Yes, she will. It totally did. Some sick way, it was it was an awesome moment between the two of us because I think we had a clear understanding no. that in a different no. world things may have been no. different no. for us. That wasn't the place. In a different world, and we from. I agree. In the land of make believe, yeah. Right. You had a chance to say your piece, and Sam, I want to thank you for coming. Okay, get off. Get off the stage. So Lacey still has, or I think she still has like a podcast yeah. and uh, some other stuff she does. I don't know if she still does her music. Whenever I talk to people about this. She went on tour with that band and I found the, the singing and the performance to be highly serviceable. It's easy to see all of the arguing and the swearing and the talking about sex while you and Heather's parents were just standing right there. Yeah, that was great. Right, exactly. You know, that was a little bit tough. <laughs> <laughs> Doing porn or oh. like that, so, you know? <laughs> no, but you were there doing Brett. <laughs> That's true. But <laughs> I'm I'm 31 year old adult, so. 31. Are you gonna tell me that the whole time? I'm 30. Really there for Brett, or are you also there to you know? Promote you know, I'm also a 31 year old adult. I I as well. And I spend my time doing this. Brett, and I wanted to be his entertaining. I wanted to be his ally and have his back. The reason I gave these girls such a hard time is because I knew that these girls were bad. No, for you're a huge bitch. It caused trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but did you think that maybe you might have gone to the final two if instead of spending so much time talking about the other girls, dragging them into the pool violently and uh, two times and falling down on the bar and and throwing up, trying to get that girl to punch you in the face over and over yeah. again. His mind. Getting thrown on the ground. First girl that you really pissed off was Dallas. Yeah. And let's. Hey, shut up. Show me how pretty you look. I'm gonna hurt letter. this bitch. Get this. Get off. 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 Get I don't dislike animals. I dislike. You were Lacey. saying this to get this under Lacey's skin. Well, yes, share with us. Just the fact that Brett does eat meat. Brett does wear leather. He wears leather. I mean, snakeskin boots. I'm pretty sure he wears those boots almost every day. Can I? Can I so, respond to that? I, enough is enough. I, I, I have to say. Enough is enough. Well, no, I gotta say. You know, I do feel like you know, I did kind of step over the line with like the poking you in the forehead and all that, and I, I do feel bad. You know, don't touch I, me. I feel like you know. I believe her. You bumped into each other three times when the cameras weren't around, and you didn't have anything to say. Well, I've had some. Well, hold on. She wants. I've, she. She. It, it seems like right now she's trying to clear this up. So well, go ahead. You know, I, <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, Ricky. But you know what? Hey, it's a step in the right direction, okay? I, I do feel bad, you know, about the way things went down between you and I. And funny enough, I was shopping the other week, and I, I found the cutest shirt that uh -oh. I thought would be, like, perfect for her. So this is, like... Did you bring it? Why do they have so many props? Really cute. I think it, like, totally... Who okayed this? So, what do you think? Dallas loves Michael Vick. And on the back, it has, it has your quote. Look, you can like support this to the public. If there was an animal here right now, I'd slit his throat. I and would love also to wear this. You know what? He's not the one for me. I can tell in my heart that Michael's is not the one for me. Brandy basically tells us that she's not into Brett. It is now my mission to make sure Brandy goes home. As the day went on, I definitely was like, what the fuck did I do? I fucked up. Vomit. Vomit. <laughs> I know, she's the one who went. Thoughts, did you say, I can't wait to tell Brett this? Yeah, pretty much. Well, of course, <laughs> no. she always runs and tells him everything. Well, but that's because I've got, again, i got to keep reiterating. It's like you girls, the thing I don't understand about this whole scenario is you girls have each other's backs. I like every girl on season two better than her. I, I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed... I wish Tiffany made it to the finals instead. Goals were to be with Brett. You know, Brett is here for a reason, and again... Publicity. I take this There's so no seriously. There's no doubt about it, then. Well, well, hold know. on. Lacey, what do you think the reason that Brett was on the show was for? I think that was he was here what? to what? find love. Right. And I think he was here to pump his career, which is smart. Okay, you're because wrong. He's a you're wrong. No, no. <laughs> the reason that Brett was on the show, Brett is doing great all he's, over the world. Oh, of course. Poison still sells tens of but thousands let me tell you of something. The reason that Brett was on the show is he was really trying to find I love. I understand that. And Brett is smart. He's like, I gotta keep Ricky is shilling hard. Yeah. Like your music video on YouTube that smells like shit and sings. <laughs> oh my god, it's horrible. <laughs> I haven't seen your music well, video, you know but, oh but give me a review on it. But like, <laughs> it's fucking okay, horrible. But wait a second, here's Brandy's video. <laughs> <laughs> I was young. Now and tell us, are there stupid. things that happened between Brett and Lacey that maybe we didn't see you know on what? TV? The reason why I did Who eliminate myself what? at the end is because I did hear that you fucked him. And then, you know what? That turned me off. Well, I that's hearsay. I've heard a lot of stuff, too, about a lot of people. Well, I, I wasn't the one sneaking in his bedroom every fucking night. The reason I was in his bedroom is because I wasn't winning any dates. I was losing all the challenges, and I wanted to spend more time with him. That's what turned me off about Brett, and that's why I wanted to go home. Ah, I see. I don't want to be with the match so, stuff so with you. So, all, all of the guys... <laughs> oh, my God. What is that? You wanted to see uh, Lacey sing a song uh, from her band? You got it. Too bad. This is the band I saw on YouTube. To finally take the truth out of the shadow I couldn't care less about or any of you all This is better than Corey Feldman by a mile Let's not go crazy. It is. The band, yeah. She's on key. She's she on is? rhythm. Yes. She sounds lazy. She sound, her no, voice doesn't have style. anything. It's a bad it's, style. It's it doesn't sultry. work. It's not sultry. No, I hear her personality, but I think she's a serviceable performer. Oh, wow. I hear this, and I, I it's it's so bland to me. It's like she's not even singing. Funny, a little different response than when Lacey sat down here. <laughs> but I want to ask you, how did she ride your coattails? Well, because um, she made an alliance with me, and then at the end kind of turned her back on me. So that's my kind of like... Yeah, at the end, that's when you turn your back and try to win. You two now? Well, you know, I, I have to say that it, I am hurt by the fact that you thought I was riding your coattails. Ugh, I hate that she's getting so much screen time. I know. And Heather is like, a, a you know, one of the ones that sits next to her. We put up with Lacey. It's too much Lacey. Yeah. Admit wrongdoing is that I, I do think I should have talked to you first about... Comment below if you're on Team Lacey so I can block you. <laughs> The, the way that you retaliate. Yeah, what was it? Kelly, was start blocking yeah, people. Yeah, Kelly, kick everyone <laughs> kick out, out of the out. chat. Whoever's yeah, really cool with her. Because it makes me look I think Kelly's really cool. We don't um, know her personally. She no. was just like a fan from the very start and, and showed that she was a real team player and got on the admin you guys uh, for the chat. So shout out to Kelly, man. Shout out. You're, yeah. a, re you're a real one. Oh. That's the, that's the real one. Yeah, comment below if you're Kelly VV. I want to ask you, first of all, your first tattoo, before you were really dating, was Brett's yeah. first tattoo. What they say is, um, once you get one, you want a lot more, so I got a couple more actually since then. So. I am a little bit curious. Yeah, you want to see my newest one? Uh, do you want to see your new tattoo? <laughs> I do, yeah. He says Fred Durst. Hey, Brett. <laughs> God, that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, she got him like today. Gauze off Heather's back. <laughs> oh.
Oh my, that's Sharpie. It has to be, it has to be. The temporary one. Well, I'm, I'm glad to see that you have gotten over this and put all of this behind you and there's no more bit. Right. It's a joke, it's a okay. joke. I'm not bitter, it's, it's, it's a joke. But it's hilarious, come on, that shit's funny as fuck. Yeah, that's how jokes work. Come, they just play the same song every time. <laughs> come back from five feet away while I know. we were waiting. Last time we were out here, we were having fun and we were joking around, yes. but there's Heather. I understand. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give Heather a hug whether she wants to hug me or not. No! All of them are jealous. No, I do suck. So that there was feelings between you and Heather. Well, I don't think there was a time in the show that there wasn't feelings. I mean, we, we hit it off from the get-go. Heather, you, on the show, on the last episode, it seemed like going from love to very sad to anger. Hey, Ricky, let's not get too deep. This isn't marriage boot camp. Let's just... I know. You're towards him. Although... I mean, that's all. Ricky's kind of a good host. You're gonna laugh? He's a good host. He's got good energy. Like, it's up energy. It feels really natural. He phonies it up well. Yeah, he's super phony. God. Brett Michaels is selling out everywhere. Can right we up. cameo Ricky Rackman and have him talk about Back to the Sofa? Ooh, top of the list. How much is it? He does not look the same. $66. He looks terrible. <laughs> Chris is gonna put the picture up right now. It's not great. <laughs> That's us saying that. Right. Dollar. No, I'm over it. As soon as I saw the picture. <laughs> but I think that in the long run, we could have a great friendship and, and a sexual relationship. But on shows like this, you're you're forced on this situation. I had to make that decision. She might like have vanilla ice money. Cause like that all that poison stuff has to be split. Right. Of course I want you in my life because we're fucking hilarious. And, and all I we do is laugh, right? Absolutely. But I didn't, you know, it was like deer in the headlights. He didn't, and. And angry. <laughs> bitter beer right face. Right <laughs> Bitter beer, shoot me the bitter finger, call face. me an asshole. Right. Probably. They do get along very well. They look like a couple. You've been up here. It looks to me. <laughs> of <that> assholes. <laughs> <laughs> because what we're seeing here yes. isn't like, you know, this TV thing. This is a real life experience that, ha that is real. happening between you on the show and happening right now. But in the end, Brett, you did choose Jess. And for six long months, You've been waiting to be reunited. When what? What? Just the wait is over. Did Heather. so? Rock of Love is fake. Oh my. What are you talking about? Oh my God! I watched this whole show for nothing. Brad, in the end, there can only be one girl for you, and that girl was Jess. Yeah, she looks great with the. Yeah. Not the puffy chicken yeah. stuff. Oh, did you? Did you see that interaction? I did. It was very cold. I need with to sit over there. I'm closer yeah, this way. Please. Before we start about those six months, what is it like for you, Jess, watching what has just transpired with him and Heather? I feel for Heather because I think that girl wears her heart on her sleeve. Um, and that's probably hmm. maybe a downfall, you know what I mean? Because right. you can, somebody can grab it, take it, run with it, stomp on it. Not saying that you did, right. but you but might you not have held it with enough care. Cool. Yeah. To be, honest, to be honest, this whole entire situation was a complete mind fuck for me. And what do you mean by that? What do you think? It was said and done. You drove me to the hotel. You didn't even get out of the car. Big John actually got out of the car and walked me to my I walked her for room. I'm not allowed to take you. I want to stre stress that point that Brett was not allowed to have contact with you to Outside see you to talk house. to you. When I got to that hotel, they were freaking out that I even left with you. I thought that was... Very oh, for the anonymity of the, the results of the show? Right. Okay. The yeah. integrity the of the world. ROL universe. I remember when I was out there with my binoculars going, where is it, where is it? I think you made the wrong decision. Yeah, if you fall in love, you're going to stay away from that person for six months? You're saying now Heather was the one. Well, if you felt that then or felt that now, well, you should have said it then. Here's the thing. I'll be honest, you and Heather laugh about things that I could never, ever understand. Yeah, because you're half her age. We don't, like, we don't. Like, beer nuts or something? Like, what do you guys say? Like, I just... Yeah, she makes, like, E.T. references. And, I know. You know. No, I'm just kidding. We, we look at each other and laugh. Right. Cry. <laughs> yeah, so, you know what I mean? Chris and I were older when we went back to college, and we were hanging out with people that were 10 years younger than us, and we'd make TV show references. The moment I knew he was, he was gonna be a friend of mine, uh, whether he liked it or not, was uh, <laughs> when we were in class we're and, friends. and we were talking about something and Kyle says, man, that's just as confusing as the two Darrens. <laughs> Comment below if you know what that is. <laughs> because just, then you belong here. I started bursting out laughing and it was dead silence. Yeah, yeah, he's the only one that got it. <laughs>
So if you don't know, <laughs> the show Bewitched, like the first season or two, had one guy named Darren. And then the next season started and it was just another guy. And, you know, and they were just like, nope, that's Darren now. And as a country, we all said, what the fuck? And it, truly, how she truly, truly feels and the bond that you guys have. And right. they're all there. Her body language is chemistry. Between she's, them. I think Heather was the one. Like how we sit. To be honest well. with you. Heather seems hurt. I was surprised about her reaction. About not being with Brett. Her answers to all these things. You know what? Jess is like, what the fuck? Part of me isn't because maybe I knew Heather was really in love with me and I knew you had a guard up and maybe coming out of a long relationship, maybe I wasn't quite ready to completely fall Can in I love be honest? Again. I think that's what it is. I think you know you're scared I mean? because there was a part you, of me her, that it's was, a real thing. Yeah, I think part of me might have been. Good, go on a reality nice. show and uh, eliminate five women before they get into the house. It's not turning you on. What? That's not right. <laughs> 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 I don't know where this is going, but I think we're interested to see where it might lead. No, no. The ladies, and I want to thank yeah. you, Big John. Okay, at least the show. What happened? I wanted to hear from Tiffany. I really did. Come here, Ryan. Well, I'm glad they're cool. Now kiss. And it was for them to make out. I don't give a fuck anymore. Okay, thanks for being a You know. Thanks. I believe it. The rock of rock. Hey, not bad. It moved along. This wasn't something that. Well, we did skip ahead a lot. Don't threaten me with a reunion show. You have to say the greatest catchphrase ever. of Rock of Love. Just Don't threaten me with Yes. No, get loaded and do it. The only difference is at that time, we actually could understand what you were saying. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't think I was drinking as much as the other girls. I mean, Fire! they were basically pros. They were strippers, waitresses, bartenders, and I'm a nurse. I don't drink every day. All I saw was somebody on a pole and somebody giving him the most dangerous lap dance I ever saw was from you. My penis is still recovering, but I knew you were a nurse so we could handle any problem that may have come after. So there's that. Uh, but this wraps up season one, officially, of Rock of Love. We're completionists, and we're here to serve the public, to help them with their feelings and love. None of that. We just watch TV. We don't do any of that stuff. Yeah, we just watch, we TV. Just watch TV. Comment below if you want us to change this. I mean, we won't, but, you, <laughs> but the comments help. The algorithm right. needs comments. Yeah, God damn it, I need clicks. Um, <laughs> We're here to have fun. We hope you have fun too.